Black pepper, garam masala, coriander powder makes this classic Kerala beef fry the dark, stringy, fatty, sizzling delicacy that it is. Welcome back to Wonder Lemons. If you're here for the first time, hi, I'm Lucia and I'm a certified wellness coach. I have here 650 grams of ribeye steak, which is cubed, and I'm going to cut it further into half inch smaller cubes. Traditionally, this delicacy called Erchulitz is cooked with buffalo meat, which is also known as buff or buffin. Erchi is the word for meat in our language, so buffalo meat or buff is called poterchi. For the flavorings, we need some shallots. These are Indian shallots, smaller than the regular shallots, but a stronger, distinct flavor. So that's around 15 Indian shallots. You find these in any Indian or Asian store. I'm skinning the shallots and we're gonna crush them, along with two green chilies. Or it can be shredded in a processor. Ribeye absorbs the seasoning and flavors really quick, so there's no need of marination or slow cooking or pressure cooking as it's usually done for this dish. Ribeye also has a perfect balance of fat which makes it so juicy, tender and delicious. Into a wok or a pan on medium flame, add 2 tablespoons of coconut butter, add the crushed shallots and green chilies, stir those for a few seconds. Add the meat in, quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder, squeeze in half a lemon, mix them all well and let this cook covered for 12 to 15 minutes. Did you know there is one super important vitamin that is found in meat? The vitamin B12, which is essential for the modulation of our DNA the genetic material of our cells. Vitamin B12 is a very vital component in maintaining our healthy nervous system and brain functioning that stabilizes our mental health, preventing us from going into depression. Vitamin B12 is also needed to produce healthy red blood cells in our body to prevent us from anemia, which makes us feel very weak and tired. Other foods with vitamin B12 are fish, chicken, dairy, but cattle meat contains the highest. Let's check the meat. You can see how beautifully the meat is getting cooked in the fat and water from the meat itself. I'm adding now two teaspoons of ginger garlic paste. You get ginger garlic paste in store or you can grind ginger and garlic together and make it yourself. Next is one tablespoon of coriander powder, one tablespoon of ground black pepper, half tablespoon of garam masala, half tablespoon of salt, and a handful of curry leaves. I'm using dried curry leaves, but if you get fresh curry leaves, nothing like it. I'm giving it a good stir and let the spices and other flavors blend in well and let it cook open. Red onion is a must ingredient in the Kerala beef fry finely sliced and it goes into the meat at this stage. I'm adding half teaspoon of ground can or red chili powder. Mix them all well and when you see the liquid in the meat has come down to 80%, increase the flame and stir and stir and stir and fry for a good couple of minutes until you see the meat is completely liquid free. You don't want to burn the bottom, so keep stirring. Add a teaspoon of coconut oil on the cooked meat, switch off the stove and lock the flavors by closing the pan. Always, always let the meat rest before you want to eat it for 5 or even 10 minutes and in this particular dish I would keep it even for 20 minutes. The Kerala beef fry is usually eaten with porota which is a flaky flatbread or with rice, wedgies and pickles. Here's a 
fun fact. If you meet anyone from Kerala, India, they would say this dish is not food, but an emotion. This tastes even better when eaten the next day or the day after. And optionally, coconut slices are added in too. If you have learned something new today, do give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. Share this video with other meat lovers and if you are cooking the Kerala beef fry, do tag us on Instagram at wonderlemons. Do check out our other videos, the links are given in the description below. See you in the next video. Always eat healthy, balanced and clean and stay joyful.